want me back. Yeah, yeah. Want me Gray skies over Puget Sound and plenty of umbrellas on sale in Seattle. Home to the Crossover League. A place where jump shots fall from the indoor sky wet like the rains of Pacific Northwest folklore. Summer in the city ain't been the same since Quincy Jones soundtrack Jamal's first summer here. Broken ankles, 40 point outbursts as regular as the sunrise, and a foundation that makes the game far more important for everyone in the gym. A place where you can see Zach Levine walking amongst the clouds with ease. Where you can see Isaiah Thomas finding his fourth quarter mojo, cooking at 90 degrees. A place where undersized dunk champs like Nate Robinson first flew through the summer league trees. <laughs> yeah, they can get a little bit gray outside. But in the gym at Seattle Pacific University, the matchups and highlights are considered some of the most colorful in the world of summertime ball. Fluid, yet rough and tumble, just like the city it calls home. It's deeper than just a game here. Everybody wins. Everybody contributes. A real team effort for the ages. Seattle. And there was some excitement last night the Pacific Northwest on the Pro-Am circuit as the Hype Brothers made their debut at Seattle Pacific. 
Stephen A. Smith, what would you think of the performance? Well, what I want to really say is that, first of all, it was about time. It's nice to know that the brothers listened to me because I was the one talking about how they needed to play together. They accepted the counseling that I provided. Yes, you did. Now they are out on the court again handling their business. Nick Howard looked pretty good. The comeback kid truly looked like the comeback kid. Seems like he's completely healed from that ACL injury. I like what I saw. I was very impressed. And more importantly, I want to applaud their intellect listening to the wisdom that I espouse, they deserve a lot of credit. You just love taking this bow, don't you? <laughs> and look, look, I'm not taking any credit away from them, or for you for that matter. Okay. But shouldn't we contextualize this a little bit? It was a very impressive performance, there's no denying it, but it is one game. Mm -hmm. And how shall I say this? I think we need to be cautious about overstating the level of competition here. Well, there's no doubt about that, but at the same time, it's whether or not they're taking the proper steps towards prosperity. Bottom line is they did step one. Now, step two, I'm hearing they're going to show up in the Dykeman League. We're hearing that they're going to show up and perform there. We'll see how they do in that particular situation, but the hype is real because people who have watched them over the years are seeing similarities now to what they saw back then, and that's the most important believe point. the hype? I'm not saying Be believe the not, hype. Just not, like, don't I, believe I, the hype, I'm but just, believe the hype. I'm saying I'm not saying believe the hype. I'm not saying don't believe the hype. I'm simply saying don't poo-poo anything right now. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and You're see. Saying, are you accusing me I, of poo-pooing? Possibly. Quite possibly. I may have you are a negative, a Max. You I are have, negative, Max. I may have poo-pooed a little bit. Maybe.